Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. During drilling operations, the borehole must always be filled with a drilling mod. The density of this drilling mod needs to be high enough so that the pressure in the borehole is always greater than the pressure of the fluid in the surrounding rock. This is very important, as this is the only way we can ensure that nothing dangerous comes into our well bore while drilling. Well, that sounds easy. But in reality, there's always a chance for surprises. For example, as you can see here, we could approach an unexpected high pressure zone. If we enter such a high pressure zone, we will face a kick. Oil and gas will flow into our well bore. Gas in the borehole is of course most dangerous because it is very explosive and toxic for the recruit. At the surface, we realize we have a kick in the borehole because the borehole suddenly starts to overflow as more and more gas is flowing into the borehole. So obviously, we have to do something. As a first measure, we close the blowout preventer, which is attached at the top end of the borehole. Shortening the well stops the overflow of the well, but at the same time, the pressure in the borehole increases. Finally, the pressure at the bottom of the borehole reaches a certain level such that the gas influx stops. The gas kick has a certain size and locked in the borehole. So what do we do now? We could sit down, relax, think about it, and pass it on to the late shift personnel. But this is not a good idea. The gas kick is lighter than the drilling mod. Therefore, the gas kick slowly starts to move upwards in the borehole. However, since the borehole is closed, the gas kick cannot expand. And as the volume of the gas kick remains constant, the pressure in the gas bubble also remains constant. As a result, the pressure in the entire well increases, as you can see behind me here. This will, of course, later result in a dangerous situation. With increase in the borehole pressure, we risk exceeding the strength of the rock if we don't react on time. We will frack the borehole. That means cracks will appear in the surrounding rock and we lose control. So what do we do? At the top end of the borehole, there's a valve attached to the blower preventer called the choke valve. We carefully open this valve and the fluid shoots out with high pressure. As the drilling mud exits the borehole, the gas now finds some space to expand and the pressure of the bu bubble decreases accordingly. But watch out. As you can see here, the pressure at our wellhead keeps increasing. We need to be prepared for that. That's pure physics. And on the bottom of the well, we also have to watch out. Here, the pressure decreases. Both observations are critical. The pressure at the top must not exceed the strength of the casing tubes because they could burst. And at the bottom of the well, the pressure must stay above the reservoir pressure in order to prevent a new kick from entering our borehole. So what we do is we allow the initial kick to expand so that the top and the bottom pressure stay within acceptable limits. Then finally, the first gas arrives at the surface and shoots out. That's a good moment, as now the maximum well pressure is reached. And from that point, the pressure at the surface will decrease and the danger fades away. But at the bottom of the borehole, we must still be very careful to ensure that the pressure maintains a constant level and does not drop because otherwise a new kick comes into the system. So we circulate the kick out bit by bit with the drilling mod and eventually the kick is gone. This is good, but the borehole is still under pressure because the drilling mod is still too light for the high pressure zone that we have drilled into. This is why we have to prepare a heavier drilling mod and this heavier drilling mod is now pumped down the pipe into our borehole. Finally, the whole borehole is filled with heavier drilling mod and if everything went right, we should be able to open the blowout preventer without anything leaking out. There's no more pressure on the well. The experts will say we have killed the well. All in all, it's quite a complex process and it has to be practiced very often so that it works out in an emergency situation. This is why everywhere in the world we have special drilling schools where two pushers, recruits are trained. Example in Germany, we have the Bohrmeister Schule located in Celle, Lower Saxony. 
Here, all the personnel that have to do drilling rigs are regularly trained on simulators on how to deal with dangerous situations. Their different standardized killing methods are also trained in detail. Unfortunately for us, here at the Institute of Drilling Engineering at the TU Freiburg, we don't have such a very complex simulator. But of course, we cover the whole theory in our lecture, Drilling Engineering 2, here in Freiburg. We look forward to seeing you. Look off.